When driving through downtown Whitefish this holiday season, you may see beautiful decorations up and down the streets. KPAX's Marn Sue tells us those decorations are handcrafted by locals and have quite the history. There was a man named John Austin who in the early 50s was the president of the Chamber of Commerce and he was at the landfill and there was a truck from the city of Kalispell with a man who was going to throw away 20 frames of the large historic bells and John offered to purchase them from him and the man accepted and John knew that he had someone who could recover them and that's how the tradition of the red bells in white fish began. Chris Schuström says these decorations span over 50 years. Schuström is a part of Whitefish Shines, a nonprofit organization dedicated to bring holiday decorations to the downtown. Schuström says upkeep of these historic decorations begin in the fall. We'll recover snowflakes just to, so that they look really great and bright. And this year we're reupholstering or have reupholstered 52 of the red bells. 50 wreaths, 20 snowflakes, and 90 red bells line the streets of downtown Whitefish. Schuström himself just learned how to pattern and sew the iconic red bell. A skill passed down through generations of red bell seamsters before him. And they're made of a vinyl coated polyester to withstand the harsh winter weather. As you're driving through downtown Whitefish, these snowflakes may appear really small, suspended above the road. But I stand at about 5'4", and this snowflake is about 5 feet tall. Schuster, along with other Whitefish Shines members, will continue red bell upkeep throughout the winter. In Whitefish, Marin Sue, MTN News. Schuster says Whitefish Shines needs about $8,000 annually to sustain the decorations. If you would like to donate help or help, please visit our website for more information.